What is up my guys, Cody here and welcome back to the vid. Today I thought it would be fun to try and predict the new character's kit. But don't worry, I'm not just going to be making some baseless guess. I actually watched the video in slow-mo and my guys, you might get surprised with the things that I actually just found out. So straight away, let's get to it. The game Path to Nowhere has been set in a post-apocalyptic, modern Lovecraftian world. Upon playing the game, you would notice your typical city stuff in the background. And that's because you are. This place is literally called This City. But the teaser showed us a completely different thing. A medieval-esque town, complete with a castle, a shipping dock, and... Is that a freaking cannon? So boys, you know what that means. Pack your bags, chief, and grab your passport, because Path to Nowhere is taking us to a whole new different world. Upon providing the settings for the new story event, they also introduced us with the new S-Class Sinner, which is named Eddie. So my initial guess was wrong, she's not actually a halfling. Instead, she looks like she's a dragon slayer. The girl just literally covered herself with dragon body parts as if she's playing Monster Hunter from a different franchise. Her ult looks boring at first glance, but upon closer inspection and slowing down a bit, here are the things that I found out. So first, each time the enemy gets hit, they will receive some sort of mark. And once that mark reaches 4 or 5, it will explode and cause an even bigger damage. Next, she also seems to have a separate counter for her. Notice how there are 4 diamonds revolving around her. And then next, units that are killed by her basic attack seems to leave a red sword mark while units killed by her ult leaves a green defense mark. Or at least that's what I think it is. So my prediction is that she has this passive where she can actually siphon the enemy stats depending on how she slayed them. Or you know, I can just be overanalyzing stuff and this could just be an event kind of thing. And then lastly, here's the spicy part. Her ult also costs a debuff for the first enemy hit as well. And what's strange here is, the debuff icon that is showing seems to be a physical defense down. That kit would be weird if the rest of her kit isn't physical damage. Which begs the question, is Ice Snow actually trying to make a physical arcane? Guess we'll find out soon enough, but for now, let's move on to the next sinner. Yo, my community was more hyped on this guy than the S-Class sinner, which I don't really get. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for the new male sinners. But this guy just really have that punchable face in him. For some reason, the first thing that came to my mind was Logan Paul when I saw this guy. Anyway, enough about that, let's take a look at his kit. The first thing that I noticed about this guy is that it seems like he causes a lot of buffs and debuffs. First, there's an icon with an arrow pointing up. This is the first time that, well, I believe this is the first time that I've seen this buff. Next is that it seems like he causes life loss similar to Pepper and Sumire. And then lastly, he also causes defense break. That's already pretty loaded on itself, but my guys, his kit doesn't even end there yet. His ult also causes a barrier of some sort. Notice how the enemy at the far right was blocked by the ring that Levi has created. It could be a barrier or it could also just mean that the enemy is long range. And then next, I'm going to be showing you something that I actually missed the first time that I watched the teaser. We are going to get a new potesta that will allow us to summon a turret in the battlefield. That is such a sick ability and I'm wondering how they would incorporate that in the story as well. But my guess is that this will not be a permanent potesta similar to what happened to the Stargazer and the Enfer event. So that is it for the video, hope you guys enjoyed it, and hey, if you guys have your own theory on what the new sinner skits are, or have a guess on where the story is heading, feel free to comment it down below. As always, this has been Cody, thanks for watching, and peace out.